Hey folks, welcome to Inside Talk with Fasan. So uh, today we are going to talk about uh, how one can move from you know manual testing to automation testing as a software tester. Currently, if you see, you know, like most of the companies hire only specific to automation tester. Even if they want to hire, you know, manual testers only, they kind of have the GT where it involves both manual and automation testing. And this was the reason which you know, like, which triggered me as well to learn automation testing. So if you're here to know why you want to you know, like move from manual to, manual, to, manual to automation testing and why you should be listening to me, uh, that uh, the reason is uh, three years back, I kind of moved from manual testing to automation testing, right? So for the first five years of my career, I was into manual testing and then I got into automation testing. So not everybody has a plan to do that. So. I kind of made a plan for myself like multiple times and then I, I kind of failed every time. So there was m multiple approaches. Like I used to learn uh, Selenium first and sometimes I learn the Java, sometimes learn JavaScript. And every time if I do something and I don't really see the real time applications, I don't know how to implement that. So I kind of lost in between. And then, uh, you know, like it didn't happen. So one fine day I decided a transition plan for myself and I decided to work in that pattern and it worked for me. I'm not sure, you know, whether it's the right thing to do or not, whether it's the right practice, whether it's the right approach or not. But again, it all depends. Uh, if you, if I can do it, I, I think probably everyone can do that. If it worked for me, probably it will work for someone, if not for everyone, right? So uh, here I am, I, I wrote a blog, you know, uh, where I have listed the, uh, steps which i followed but i still wanted to make a video and talk about this since uh, i can talk more about it i believe rather than writing things so uh, let's let's get started you know uh, the first thing is uh, the problem what we see uh, in the industry currently is manual testers are paid way low compared to automation testers automation testers are someone who work like a developer so they are they get paid as a developer you kind of work with uh, Maven, Jenkins, everything like what exactly a developer does. So uh, it, it's kind of, uh, uh, you know, like a personal growth as well, you know, if you move to automation testing, but there's no harm being a manual tester throughout the life. I mean, I, I, I repeat, you know, like manual testing is not dying to the people who, you know, like who are worried about it. So it's not dying anywhere. It's not going anywhere. Automation testing is an enhancement to, you know, manual testing, not a replacement to manual testing, right? So uh, let's talk about uh, the approach which I followed, like how I did that, right? So the first thing was intention, you know, I decided I want to get it into it. If, if there is no intention, I don't think we can do anything, right? And then the second thing is uh, choosing a language, whichever you are comfortable. For me, at that moment of time, I was actually not comfortable with any language since whatever I need to learn, you know, it was a pretty new to me. So I started with Java first, and then I slightly moved into JavaScript as well because we had more number of frameworks, ready, I mean API frameworks available, and I I kind of wanted to explore those things. So once that's done, uh, uh, the problem I faced choosing a language and executing it, I I kind of went real deep into the uh, language thing, and that actually created a problem because uh, at one point of time you just keep coding and then you don't see any result, you know, in testing, and then. It, it kind of breaks the intention at all uh, to learn things. So uh, I kind of failed multiple times over there. And then uh, what I did was I started directly jump. I mean, I jumped into a framework. Once I jumped into a framework, it kind of gave me an idea like how the basic programming helps us. You know, uh, what I'm trying to say you is, you know, uh, you don't have to learn the core Java, something like that. You just learn basic things like how to write a method overloading function, how to write a function actually. So just the basic thing like declare it, how, how a declaration is done how can you build a simple utility something like that you don't have to go uh, understand the entire framework at one go before uh, uh, moving into the framework okay so next thing uh, choosing a framework so again it depends on what kind of language you choose say for example if you choose uh, javascript you have options you have actually multiple options, but I will talk about my experience. You can choose CodeSwap.js, you can choose a WebDriver IO. If you're going with Java, go ahead with Selenium, go ahead with Selenide. There are multiple frameworks. Again, it ha every framework has their own pros and cons. It all de depends on what what product you want to automate, what scenarios you have. So it all depends on that. But for learning purpose, uh, you can go ahead with anything. For me, if you want, if you ask me personally, go ahead with JavaScript and WebDriver IO or JavaScript or uh, CodeSwap.js. It will, it, it kind of makes the job easy. And again, it all depends. 
see at end of the day what matters to us is automating things so it doesn't matter how difficultly we automate or how easily we automate right okay so and then uh, once you decide on those things uh, install you know like uh, just don't watch youtube videos and do i mean you know so kind of see for preparing interviews i have seen people while interviewing they kind of watch a few couple of videos on udemy and youtube and then they feel you know like they know automation no it, it's not how it works install things and configure like play around like understand how it works like what are all the basic things which you know like you need to install to run or something say for example yeah, if i ask you in an interview you know like uh, you 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 work on selenium like what are all the basic things you need to install people just go blind because they just oh, watch few things and then you know like they kind of oh, they know how to write test cases but they don't know how to install it so it doesn't make sense to me at least right and so again as i say here see uh, practical practice like crazy you know it doesn't matter before you go for an interview and those things just practice uh, practice 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 that's it yep and then the next thing comes is here so once you practice those things and then you start learning actually about the actual testing framework say for example bdd ttd like what are the types of framework i mean it doesn't matter again what your organization uses what you want to learn so it, it all your choices learn about uh, those kind of frameworks like how a test data driven works how a behavior driven works like what exactly it is and then uh, again as i say learn things which are simple it powerful right so basically it means uh, learning how to build small functions say for example you click on element and then you display a message or write a common function which which does the both as simple as that that's how well, that's what a framework means right like you order things you order and present it in a you know like a presentable format and then uh, slightly try learning you know uh, uh, jenkins and those stuff because it helps to you know like uh, build a pipeline so once you write a framework and you have executable test cases in your system it doesn't matter for an organization to run from your local they want to run in in a server in a pipeline where anybody can run that you know like in a click they can just trigger a pipeline that's how it works so uh, try learning uh, you know like the basic of jenkins initial configuration and setup see when you see actual framework in an organization you see a lot of you know like uh, jenkins codes and those stuff so it it these are codes which are already available in the internet it's not like they have written on their own or something like that you just need to do some installations and you will have that probably you know like in times uh, in future probably if time allows I, i'll make videos on those as well but right now just try to find it i mean i'm sure you can find it again as i say once you learn these things again practice right so there's no way escaping that all right uh so once you are comfortable with writing test script and how your architecture looks like how your framework looks like look into uh, how you can optimize it again when i say optimization it basically means building small utilities building method overloading functions and those stuff so once those uh, you know like once those things are done probably you can start writing uh, code to you know like present it in the format like once you have the test results it it doesn't matter if you don't have a report so like how you want that report whether to your slack channel whether to your email whatever it can be try finding solutions for that you i mean there are solutions already available i'm not saying it's not there it's not like you you need to invent something it's just that it's there but the problem is i'm just saying you the order like how you how you should be learning how it helped me actually this is the pattern which i learned in and in, in this entire pattern what happens here is the the learnings which we did in the language it's very minimal you know at the initial level but but once you come over here until here you kind of have a grip in the programming language whichever you have since you write functions and those stuff you kind of have the basic grip uh, to uh, to the language which you are working and then uh, try exploring the ids which you are working try how to debug the code how how to build reports and when i say this you know this guy, these are all things which you can learn it with pretty long time like once you know all the codes and so which basically means parallel executions and multi environments parallel executions and say for example in a product you can you can run uh, multiple test cases right like uh, you don't necessarily need to wait until one at is completed and then uh, probably there, it all again depends on the scenario you want to do you can have multi browser testing like uh, one test case so you have written it and you can run it multiple browsers multiple environments say for in any in organization you have staging environment qc environment production like different environments write a framework in such a scalable framework where you can you know uh, actually uh, have the scalability to enhance like you can add multiple environment right once and forget it like it's kind of like a fit and forget uh, environment uh, you need to build it so th- this is the overall uh, idea like which i had like how i plan my uh, journey from you know 
the so-called manual testing, exploratory testing into automation testing. If you are also someone who is looking to move from your current role, you know, and wanted to wanting to learn the automation testing, you might have tried multiple things. Or if you are starting out, uh, you know, I would suggest this plan. I, I'll put this blog link in the description as well if you want. Probably you can have a look and see it goes. And uh, you can also, you know, reach out to me on my uh LinkedIn probably we can talk about this if you want so this is how it worked for me again it all depends uh, on the intention like as I said earlier so it doesn't matter if it doesn't I mean if you don't have intention you're, you're never gonna learn it's a different thing so uh, I hope it made sense to you guys like how it how I did I, I, I'm pretty sure you know if not everyone at least someone will be beneficial from this do let me know in, in the comment section like if you have any thoughts like if you disagree or agree with this until then take care guys I'll see you soon bye bye